Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is just gonna be a fun get ready with me and yap because I have lots to say. I mean, I'm here for a reason. I always just get on here and talk about whatever I wanna talk about, but um, we're gonna do our makeup together. I do have somewhere to be. I do have to go to work and that's really it. But I feel like doing my makeup today. I don't know about you guys, but where I'm at currently is like, I just do my makeup and it makes me like feel better, I guess. Like it makes me feel more put together. It makes me feel more, weirdly, it makes me feel kind of like more awake. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I kind of feel that way. Do you guys feel that way? I don't know. It makes me feel more like ready to go, more like energized. Um, and I was gonna show you guys some of my stuff I've been using recently that I really like. Probably some of it I've shown you guys before, but a couple things I'm like newly into. This is my current obsession primer if I want my makeup to last all day. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, it's insanely long lasting. I, I know some people are like in denial that primer is helpful. But when I tell you that like maybe you're just using the wrong primers because this one is so good. Another one that I like is this Essence one which is more of like a hydrating primer and less of like a long lasting one. But I figured while we were here, we could go ahead and talk about reading, of course. Um, I have some TV shows I'd like to talk about. I've also started doing TikTok lives, which has been fun. Um, I've been, you know, kind of really trying to embrace all of my hobbies. I really like gaming, so we'll talk about games some too. And it's just been a fun time. I've just been trying to lean into the things that I love and spend time with people that I love and to have more balance in life just in general which is never a bad thing right so next we're gonna do this tinted moisturizer which honestly has like foundation type coverage so don't be afraid if you want to try this and you like more i would say this does give like medium coverage it's not like full coverage which is not really the vibe that i go for anymore to be honest no, no shade if you do like that like that's totally fine also this is kind of creepy i'm gonna close this bothering me that that door was open um which speaking of creepy we are in the leading up to spooky season and i cannot wait and i am kind of representing that a little bit in my reading so i think i'll go ahead and show you the first book so episode 13 by craig de, de louis de louis um, I've seen mixed reviews of this online and I haven't really like read why people don't like it because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. I'm about like a little over halfway I would say. Anyway, this is about how much I put on and I do apply it with a sponge. You probably could get more coverage out of this if you applied it with a brush but I've just never never liked applying base products with a brush. I don't know why it's just not what I like. But anyways I'm really enjoying it so far. I love like paranormal investigative type books, which is exactly what this is. And you do have the added layer, which is one of the tropes that I really like of it being like multimedia. So like interviews, audio recordings, things like that, where it's like not just like, it's like a fun reading experience because you're experiencing like different types of media within the book. And to me, it's like very creative as an author to like include all that. And it makes sense for what it is with it being like an investigative type book like there's like charts and things like that yeah there it's basically following this and you also have like the interpersonal dynamics of the group too that it's going on because there's like one couple that's married and like one of the people's into one of the other crew members it's like a tv show it's like a production and so you also have some people like trying to fake things. Girl, I'm really enjoying it. It's a fun like leading up into spooky season read. I'm gonna use the matching concealer, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer. I really like the applicator on this. It's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little flat, just like applicator. Lately, I've just been doing concealer under my eyes just a little bit for my dark circles. <laughs> and then on like the, any like problem areas that I have. But I would love to hear your spooky book recs because I do feel like I've read a decent amount of like spooky-esque. I like paranormal. I really like psychological horror books. I like the like unreliable narrator trope, like not knowing what's real and what's fake, I think is really interesting. But normally what I do, I've started using more liquid based products in my routine, which I'll show you guys in a bit of liquid contour slash bronzer and then liquid blush. 
But first, just to make sure like my under eyes and my eyelids don't get like super creasy, I like to powder just like those areas that I put concealer before I go in with any other things. And then I leave like the rest like wet-ish. That's one of my current physical reads and I'll show you my next one. This is our current book club read, which I don't have the dust jacket because I left it in my car because I don't like to read with a dust jacket on. Where are my people at that don't like reading with dust jackets on? Um, is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This one is, like I said, it's our book club read. I did pick this one. This is my last pick of the year. Each of us get four picks for the year. Um, there's four of us, so we get four picks. So this is my last pick. I was, my goal, we do have like some requirements and one of them we try to read diversely as possible. So we did have the out, outlier or like the requirement of it being the author being the author or the main character being of Asian descent, which I did go with both. Essentially, you're following Roma and Juliet in this book. It is, in fact, a Romeo and Juliet retelling, but so far it's definitely more modernized. It does take place in 1920s Shanghai, which is really cool. Definitely a lot of different culture represented, especially for the time. You're following both of them as they are a part of two, they're the heirs to two very violent and opposing gangs in Shanghai. You also are hearing of like this past that the two char main characters have together. I will say you probably follow Juliet more, like you do follow Roma in some aspect, but mainly following Juliet and like her experience where she was like sent away to the US because of some of the war that was going on between the gangs and her getting like caught in the crossfire at a younger age, which she, they're still pretty young. I think they're like 19. But essentially when they were like 15, 16, they had like presumably like some sort of romance happened off screen. So like, I guess you would consider this almost like a, not really like a second chance romance. It's more like uh, lovers to enemies to maybe lovers. Um, right now they're having to work together because there's like this disease going through the city that is affecting both gangs and so they're trying to balance like not wanting this disease to like overtake the whole city but also like the gangs refusing to work together this is the liquid contour that i'm using by elf the halo glow i really like this like kind of spongy tip i really don't really know what i'm doing when it comes to liquid contour and i was really scared to use this at first because i was like uh i don't know what i'm doing but it's super easy to use and it blends out really well, as you can probably see. It's not like super opaque, but that's not really what I want. The main reason why I do the liquid underneath the powder, which I'll show you later, is for it to be like more longer lasting. I feel like that blends out to just a nice like shade for our base. And it's just like so easy to blend, like that's it. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of a brighter blush today. It looks kind of scary. But I promise when you put it on, it's like not that bad and you can blend it out really nice. But this is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in Coral Crush. And you really don't need a lot of this because again, it goes a long way, but I usually do like two dots. This is the applicator. Again, looks kind of crazy. Yeah, I usually do like that much. And then just blend it out with my sponge. But yeah, so, so far so good. I, the tension between the two main characters is really cool really intense um but it is ya so like it's not super like spicy or anything like that and it really i think follows a lot of the like overall politics of the story to me walking outside my window so i was trying to figure out what that was about but yeah you see it's it's blending she's blending it's fine anyway so yeah i'm really enjoying that so far we're about halfway in that one as well we do split the reading up over four weeks throughout the month and we have like a once a week meeting to discuss See, isn't that nice? So I am using the same sponge to do all of this. I just kind of like flip the sponge around. Like I use this side for contour, that side for blush, and this side for foundation and concealer. I recognize that's probably not the best thing to do, but it's fine. So far so good with that one. There is also like a mystery element running throughout. Honestly, I think it's probably more intriguing than the actual romance at this point, because the romance is still not happening, which is good because I feel like part of the whole thing with a book that has romance is like the build up and the tension, you know? So like, it's fine that it, nothing's like actually happened yet. Um, next I'm going in with the Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio. I think I'm gonna use a mix of these two lighter ones. 
with my Olimar Cosmetics brush. I'm just gonna like mix the two. And then I just, I don't do a ton over the top because that blush is kind of intense, but so I just like essentially use it to set that liquid. Later we'll kind of go in and diffuse it a little bit. You do be looking a little clown-like. But we're gonna go in with bronzer next. Same Alamar Cosmetics and then bronzer. Last book that I'm currently reading, which I probably won't talk much about because of spoilers, since it is the third in the series, I'm reading Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. Um, this book is thick. <laughs> like, insanely big. Look, oh my god. But look how pretty the cover is. It's really nice. And honestly, right now, just kind of where I'm at with life being as busy as it is, and how big that book is, I'm mostly reading an audiobook right now, which that's a whole other side tangent that I don't know if I'm going to go on today, but maybe I'll do a whole separate video on it that audiobooks are equally reading as physical books and people that say otherwise are just mean. As far as like multitasking, which is just like something that is a part of my life and it has to be and just a part of who I am in general, like I enjoy multitasking and being able to do multiple things at once. I'm going in with this highlighter from Essence. This is just kind of like a nice gold highlighter. I'll be hitting the high points of my face with that. But yeah, Oathbringer is really great. This whole Stormlight Archive series is phenomenal. I'm trying to catch up so I can read the newest one in December when it comes out with everyone because I think that's fun. I did a whole like kind of bigger discussion on a different video about the Stormlight Archives where I read Way of Kings, I think was what I talked about, which is the first one. Word of King, Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, and then Oathbringer, and then... Rhythm of War, and then whatever new one's coming out, I don't remember the name of. I am definitely not an expert when it comes to Brandon Sanderson's works. The only ones I've read are these three in the Stormlight Archives and Warbreaker. Sometimes it can be like kind of daunting, like being afraid that you're gonna read it in the wrong order and like miss things. But I encourage you to just start somewhere and pick somewhere. For me, it was suggested that I start with the Stormlight Archives because of the fact that like, I read a lot of fantasy, so it being like super long and very much like high fantasy wasn't very intimidating to me because it's something that I'm used to. But if that's not something you're used to, I've heard that Mistborn is also a good place to start to kind of like get your feet wet and get into the world building that he does and the way that he writes. It's a little bit more accessible, a little bit easier to read. But again, not an expert. A lot of my knowledge is coming from my friend Josh who is telling me what I should read. I also did read uh, Edge Dancer in between these two which is like a really cute novella that helps kind of build the story out. I'm gonna set my face and finish up talking about TV shows really quick. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewey Setting Spray. I have been obsessed with the Secret Lives of Mormon Wives on Hulu. I, I one of my guilty pleasures is reality TV. I ate it up. Like it's, it's there's so much drama and I know some people don't like that and I've heard kind of mixed reviews, but to me, it's just kind of nice to just turn my brain off and just like watch some drama. I also think that like the the overall premise is pretty interesting. I know there's a lot of like controversy about like them not really being Mormon or like them being a bad representation of the Mormon religion, which I don't have, I can't speak to that because I don't know anything really about that. I do think that it's interesting to kind of show the dualities of like the concept of someone identifying under a certain religion and maybe not adhering to all of the practices of that religion and them still considering themselves like Mormon, even though they they would consider themselves like more progressive. Some of them, like I, I kind of like how the group is kind of diverse and like some of them are more traditional and some of them are more like self-described as like progressive or like liberal in their beliefs. At the end of the day, we're all people and like we all have different intensities and different like things that we believe and that's okay that doesn't make you like less devout you know what I mean like I, I don't know I like I like that concept anyways it was kind of just a fun fun drama to watch which I know it's like it's also somebody some people's real life so like I don't want to diminish that like that sucks for the people that are having to deal with it but anyways that's one of the things I've been watching and then me and Hunter my husband are watching chaos right now with Jeff Goldblum it's hilarious it's like a I guess the best way to describe it would be like a more 
a very much more adult version of Percy Jackson because it is like Greek mythology. Just as a heads up, it is pretty intense like graphic. <laughs> So if that's not something you're into, then I would not suggest watching it because it is pretty intense. Um, I'm not normally like squeamish, but there are some scenes where I was like, ew. <laughs> but Hunter, my husband, watches The Boys, which is like very intense and I will not watch it, but it's not that bad. Um, let's see, what else? Um, we're also watching, we're, we're getting more into anime. Some of my favorite animes are Attack on Titans, like my favorite show of all time. And then I also really love Tokyo Ghoul. I like the more horror-esque anime. So we did start watching Jujutsu Kaisen, which is really good. The production level is really great. The story is really interesting so far. And it's been suggested by like a bunch of people that are really big into anime. So I wanted to watch it. We're only like a couple episodes in though. So I don't know like a ton about the story, except that like they're like demon hunters. Oh, I also love Demon Slayer as well. But they're like demon hunters and this guy eats a finger of one of the like crazy like demon lord people. And somehow he's able to like live still within him and he's like almost like split personality in a way where like the demon lord guy like appears within him at some points, but he's able to like contain it down. And so they use this guy I forget his name I'm so sorry <laughs> um to they're like taking him around with them to try to collect all the different pieces so there's like a bunch of different fingers and once he collects all of them he they're going to kill him so he kind of like knows he's gonna die but he's supposed to like you know kind of like take down this demon lord with him that's like wreaking havoc on the city so we have finished the look here it is it's pretty basic this is like my everyday go-to makeup look when i don't need anything crazy i just want makeup on and to go about my day so this is the look um thank you guys for watching and listening to me yeah for like however long this video is but um i appreciate you guys always supporting me and i'm excited for content that i have planned for fall and i hope you guys are having a great week so far